So here we have the BMW 520D on a 13 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see that it's a four door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the far left-hand side, first of all, we have the fuel gauge, then the speedometer, the rev counter, and the coolant temperature gauge. In the center, you can see the total mass of this car, which are 61,621. You can change information displayed above that for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we have a, a speed limiter and cruise control on the left-hand side here. And over on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone itself needs to be set up before you can use it, and that is done under the telephone heading just here. Uh, and then you would search for your device. We're not going to do that at the moment. All the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial, the collection of buttons that surround it, so you can enter certain menus directly from here, but that dial will operate everything otherwise. For example, if you want to access your radio, push the dial down. After rotating it to uh, radio, we can jog it to the left to get to our radio main menu. And there you've got FM, AM, and DAB radio. Back to the main menu. This is where you listen to your own music. We have USB input, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. After you pair your phone, you can use the Bluetooth audio, of course. And then we've got satellite navigation as well. Really nice, clear color display. Working our way down, we then have the CD player, the main volume for the stereo, and then dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from there. This button will turn your air conditioning on and off. Or you can hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. If you press auto again, you'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We've also got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over here for the passenger side. This section opens up to reveal two cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox along with an electronic handbrake. We can turn our parking sensors on off from here and change the driving setup from sport to comfort. And you can also turn off your traction control should you wish to do that. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.